Hi everybody, it's Teresa with Wreath Addiction RN, and I am doing this recording tonight um, for our YouTube collaboration with Hardworking Mom. Uh, I have joined her Success in Six uh, YouTube class, and uh, we're growing our YouTube channel. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please, uh, there's a picture of me in the bottom, just click on that and that will get you to subscribe. Um, we're doing, like I said, a collaboration. So I'm on from six to seven uh, central time. And then right after me is going to be Veronica's, uh, Reese by Veronica. So please follow along going to each and every um, different YouTube channel in order to uh, help support us uh, growing those channels, getting our numbers up to a thousand is our goal. So I decided to make a mailbox swag and I, I started it because I only have an hour to get this done before you have to go to the next uh, person's YouTube channel, which again is Veronica's uh, Reads by Veronica and um, Read the Diction RN. So again, Teresa. So anyway, so um, I started some things, but I wanted to show you uh, how it looked actually before I started and I have those things right here. So quickly, I get these from Craft Outlet. So this is how it comes to me from Craft Outlet. This is a 22 inch rail. It has 11 uh, ties on it. I don't know if you want to call these stencil ties. I don't know, but there's 11 ties on it. And um, I use these for mailbox swags. I also use these for um, my parents are both passed away and I make stuff to put on their headstones. So I use these rails for that. Um, so anyway, so this is how it looks when it comes from Craft Outlet. Then I I prepare them because I like a lot of mesh, so and I like my picks to stick up in them. So I prepare them with the spray foam. I get the gaps and cracks, garate stuff, whatever you want to call it. I lay down parchment paper on my a table here, and I put my extra pipe cleaners on in the centers, and then. I uh, use my gaps and cracks and usually it's ready by the next day but I like to get stuff prepared so this is what it looks like after it is prepared so and like I said I use these for mailbox wags and I use them for um, uh, headstone um, toppers so so this one is made with the blue tinsel ties and I have 21 inch mesh here and it is, um, it's patriotic, of course, it's going to be a patriotic one. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, provided that it works well, so you can get a closer look. So what I have done is I started off with, um, this has just got a little tail of about 4 inches, and these are 10 to 12 inch poofs, okay? So I just went down the line. And then I went, when I cut this, I held on to this. And I went over to the next one and I did the same. Okay, so we're just going to finish this. Again, we're doing a YouTube collaboration. Um, I encourage anyone who is trying to grow a business to check Lori out. She has been extremely helpful in so many areas of my business, of my Facebook, of YouTube, of Etsy, of Pinterest. I mean, she is just a wealth of knowledge. So, um, and I appreciate her so much. So from hardworking mom, I know many of you have probably um, seen her videos. That's how I got started with wreaths. Um, I always loved the way she explained everything. So I just take my hands in there and I poof it out. So this mesh here I got from um, Joann's last year after the season was over. I'd imagine that some of these places are going to have quite a bit of mesh left over this year. So since the stores haven't been able to be open, haven't had really good luck except for Craft Outlet to order and Deco Exchange, things like that, that like from Joann's hasn't been very beneficial to me. 
So anyway, so this is going to be for um, my daughter-in-law. Um, my son has recently deployed overseas. So I want to make sure that we get her mailbox all decorated so we can support our troops. And current, past, present. Again, I'm just doing 10 to 12 inches. Like I said, when this is over, please hop on over to Wreaths by Veronica. I will be uh, in the comments, in the uh, description, will be her YouTube channel um, link. So you can just click on that link and um, hop over there. But I did pull it up myself just by typing in her name. It did work, so if you are unable to navigate through the descriptions, which sometimes I have difficulty when I'm watching other people's uh, videos as well. So it will be in the comment, or in the, um, you can type it in in the search bar as well. It popped right up for me. She has some beautiful techniques. All right. So there's the two outers, and then I am going to measure this to make it equal to about the other side. Get my scissors. And I'm going to hold this because once you let go, then it kind of goes wonky, as I call it. And we're going to go down the center. I like mine to be very full, very, very full. So I'm not too worried about if it's exactly the same uh, length hanging out. I just want it to have the same appearance. And I don't normally measure this just because I'm just looking for coverage. Um, so. I just kind of poof it and eyeball it. I have to tell you, when I first started doing this, I didn't eyeball a whole lot. I measured everything. So um, if that's you, that's okay. It's where I was as well. I will try, this is actually a video recording I will try and be on as my video starts to play to answer questions. It does come on at 6 o'clock central. Um, I'm not sure I will be, uh, I'm hoping I'll be done working. That's the one day I actually have to go out and see patients. So I'm hoping that I will. So again, you know, the poops just have to, you know, cover up the bare spots in here. We're going to be adding some curls. So, I just love Patriotic. I think it's one of my favorites. Um, I love making all kinds of Patriotic stuff. Wreaths. Um, I'm going to make, get some of the Gaps and Cracks stuff out today and finish up those because I want to make one for my parents' um, headstone as well. I just love it. And it really does, I have, I have um, very good luck with them, the colors lasting, um, even in the summer, so.
So can you see? And this can be used as a table centerpiece as well. Um, I've just, uh, I don't have a big table, so that's not something that I do. It can be used for a mantle. I have sold the, um, at Christmas time, I've sold these as a mantle uh, display as well. So it just depends on what your customer is wanting. Try not to limit your yourself. I always try and remember to tell them that they can use it for different things on a mantle, uh, as a table centerpiece. Um, even some people don't necessarily have mantles, but even on a um, uh, china cabinet, things like that. They can go about anywhere you want. Or um, some people have really nice entryway buffet things. Those would be nice. It would be nice to stick on there as well. So, and you could get one for every day if you like as well. So, it doesn't have to be seasonal. All right, down to the last one here. So there we are for the base. Super cute, right? Sorry, sometimes I like to uh, Especially with this, when you cut it, you know it's not all going to be the same length. So if I'm going to use this again, possibly even in the center of another one, this would be good, like good filler, you know. So I just twist this on so that I don't have to try and get all of those um, ends together correctly. So that's kind of what I do. All right, so I'm going to move these out of the way for just a minute. Those are the ribbons we're going to use. And let's go ahead and do, these are cut at 10 inches. This is um, just red and blue. And we're just gonna do curls. Because I don't want to cover up the base. I love the base. Super cute, isn't it? And um, you can stick these in here while you're rolling. These are cut, this is 10 inch mesh. Cut it 10 inches long. And we're just going to take them and we're going to stick them in here. Now, I usually try and get like all my mesh stuff on and then I will stick it on top of the mailbox. So I'm going to try and hurry. We may just do one side. Because again, um, it's not that I don't want to get the project completed, but there are times that I don't put a lot of stuff on the side that's going to face the house. It depends on where your mailbox is. My daughter-in-law's mailbox, um, really there's nothing that goes behind it. So um, sometimes I feel like it's just a waste of product to put stuff on both sides, but we'll see. So I probably should have had maybe this side done with that too. I didn't think about it. So again, um, thank you for watching. Click on um, the little picture of me down in the, when I look at it, it's down in the right hand corner. So I'm not sure if it's in the right hand corner when you look at it or not, I think it is. And that will get you subscribed and then you'll be able to see um, I download videos every Wednesday night on my channel um, some of the videos are new some of them are um, lives that I've done on Facebook as well 
I do have two new um, bow videos that are going to be getting downloaded, not this week, I don't believe, but next week. So, and they are just videos. They have never been done on Facebook, so. So, um, and one of them is using the Probo, and I'm not sure, I don't remember about the other one. I'll have to check it out. So I'm trying to get some pictures taken of the bows so that, um, I'll turn this around so you can see this once I get this side done. And you'll be able to see. Super cute. Super, super cute. Love it. Please feel free to message me any questions that you have. I will answer them if I'm not on whenever you're watching this, when this premieres. I may have to cut some more of this. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the end ones, in the end pipe cleaners. We'll see. I don't normally do that. kind of hate that everything was already done. Again, you know, some projects take a little bit of time. Um, I just don't want to run over my time. I don't want to run over Veronica's time. So, I'm trying to have as many things prepared as possible. So, there we go. See how that looks? Isn't that cute? So cute. I just love patriotic stuff. I love it. And I love it. It's just got the right amount of glitter and everything in it, too, I think. I've been on here for about 17 minutes, so hopefully we're doing good. Again, we're doing the collaboration with uh, Hardworking Mom, um, Teresa with Wreath Addiction RN. I appreciate you guys being here and helping me out. direction this time. They start to unroll, just roll them back. I like using curls. If you want to see the base mesh that you're using, if you want to see that because you like it, because it was, you know, it's kind of like the main uh, attraction, other than, of course, maybe your sign and things, but if the mesh is really 
adding something to this, then use curls. Um, ruffles cover up more of your cover up more of your base. So if your base is just a basic, you know, plain color, but not nothing fancy, just does what it's supposed to, provides volume, you know, and a base. Um, then by all means use the ruffle because the ruffle adds a lot to your to your project. There's a couple ways to do the ruffles. The Woodland Revel, the regular ruffle. And you can make the base just with ruffles. So Okay, so there we go. This is what we have. Both sides, there's the end. I may still put some on the ends. I don't know. I'm going to move this up just a minute or to the side. I'm going to cut a few more of these. I cut 11 or 12. I have it one over here. I cut 12. There was 11 ties. So let's just cut a few more. I don't want to do too many because I don't want to have wastefulness, but I'm going to say at least two or three. I love my Susie Brown's mesh roller. Awesome. The link will also be in the description. All right. So I'm going to spread this out just a little bit so you guys can see the top. Let's, let's give some to the top. Use this one and maybe one more. For sure. One more. Okay, so if I were going to uh, use this on a headstone, 
I would attach this to this hugger with zip ties and then it would go on a headstone okay and I would still put picks in here and things I just wanted to show you that so let's go ahead and put it on the mailbox and then we will add the ribbons so here's my mailbox sorry guys let me get everything out of the way here I have a big craft area but it never feels like enough never feels like enough hopefully you can see that I can zoom in but let me get it on here and we'll see how we are so I have little zip ties not zip ties bungee cords that I keep in here and I take one bungee cord it does take a little bit of talent coordination maybe The foam is going to crack, that's fine. It's not a big deal. There we go. So that way we can kind of see what we got going on here. As far as how our mesh is looking. Okay. And let's see, I'm gonna turn it real quick just to make sure, because like the one time, I didn't have it very even and I was putting everything on it and it wasn't even. So I think that looks good. Alright, let me turn this so I can make sure that you're getting a good view. Alright, so there we go. So let's put some ribbons in. Let's see what we got. I have three ribbons. I have plain red. I have the stars with the red stripe and then the red polka dot. So we're just going to place these in here on top of the curls and spread them out. not opening the ties back up if I find that it's too floppy whenever I'm going through and um, like fixing them curling them then I will go back in and open them up just so that I can have some more uh, security but normally I don't have to but if I open them back up it's because I feel like the ribbon tail is not uh, secure in there. It's too floppy. I don't want it to be floppy. I kind of angle them, you know, like so that there we go. I have ties to go all the way around it. So we'll just do ties on the front so that we can start putting some picks in. And then if we get time, then we will go around to the other side. I don't really think this one is going to need a bow. A lot of times I will do a bow, and I will do the bow in the center here. So we'll see. 
one thing with that is, is you really can't have very long ribbon tails. It would be better to do like a terry bow. I'm just not really good with the terry bow yet. So it'd probably be better to have a terry bow there. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and put some ribbon tails in there. If I decide to put a bow there, I will take the ribbon tails out. See how good I'm gonna be with the camera. All right. So let's see how that works. Okay. So um, I have this. Oh, poo. I'm sorry. See, it, it wasn't there. I'm sorry. So sorry. There we go. I don't know why it moved. All right, so I have um, this, and I got this, I don't know if it was from Walmart or Dollar Tree, but it was actually a yard stake, and I cut that off. And I thought it would be really cute. It's probably going to need to be bigger. I'm going to have to move you up. As good as it's, it's going to go. So I thought I could do that here. I'm going to have to turn it my way so I can kind of see you guys, and then I'll turn it around. And I put it through the mesh in order to give it some stability. I try and figure out like where the center is. One thing I can say about this piece here, for one, it's heavy, and it is going to hold up in the weather. So I will just take some glue and glue that and then stick it back in there. You see? And then, I got a lot of picks. I think I'm going to use that. I have another one of these firecracker things. I think I'm going to use that for my parents, too. I think it's cute. Let's see. You have to glue it, but I wanted to kind of poke it through there so I can mess with it. You know, pull these out, move them around. Thank you. 
wish I had a mailbox that I could make myself one. I thought about using this mailbox, but then I wouldn't have nothing to get to work on down here. All right, so I have that. Let's see, what do we want to do? So I got these things over here. I'm just trying to decide, do I want to add them in here? I might want to put them on the back. I cut it a little bit longer. this round. I might figure out a way to actually attach that to the back of there just with some tape or something. I kind of like it to be honest. I kind of like it. It's very whimsical. I may have to take a couple of them out. They're kind of bent. I don't know. Let's see what we can do for some stability here. But I just thought we'd check it out. See. I like it. So what do you guys think? Can you see? Pretty good. Everybody see it? I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and put it, and then I'll show you the back. Um, I'm going to figure out something for, for that. So again, it's Teresa with Reef Addiction RN, and please go uh, to uh, Reefs by Veronica after my video is over and show her some love and support. I greatly appreciate it. This is um, Thursday, May the 7th, and um, It will be Thursday, May the 7th, when this airs. So don't forget to be watching for my videos every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. And if you ever have any questions or suggestions or 
um, comments, please feel free to leave them. So I will show you real quick here. Um, I have to go down and show you. I just go in uh, where it's at. I kind of lift everything up a little bit, and then um, that way I don't lose the spot that I have it in because it's really difficult to see whenever you're in all this mesh. <laughs> I think I can just flip this around so you can see the back. So basically what I did so far is I just took some duct tape and I taped those up there. So um, I'm going to find something different to do that with. So there's the back side. And there's the side view. And then another side view. So I think it turned out super, super cute. I love doing my patriotic stuff. And I love doing mailbox read though, swags, really, I do. I love them, they're a lot of fun. So I'm just taking my glue gun. I'm gonna figure out exactly where my spot is here. I just got to move some mesh around a little bit. I see it. Going to squirt the glue right there around the whole piece. And let that cool, or whatever you want to call it. Some people say dry, I guess. I'm not knowing. I don't really care. Alright, so we're going to do the same things back here. I can try and turn this around so you can see a little bit. So I'm moving everything down just so I can see. So I'm just hunting in here. So here's the one stick 
Here's the other stick. I'm just going to take my glue gun and I'm just lifting up just a little bit on these so that I can get some stuff down into the hole of the uh, gaps and cracks. And I may have to go to the uh, front as well on that one just to make sure that we get plenty of um, security. So this one is right in here. It's right in there. I think you can see it. There we go. And just pull everything down. That's the way it was. Now these um, ties, I will tie tighter. I don't think I'm going to put any ribbon in the top. I just feel like it's full enough up there. So I don't think I'm going to do that. So let's look at the top of this real quick. We're almost at our hour. So I'm going to look down in here. Let me pull this down just so I can see where we're at. I really feel like it's going to be very beneficial if I do this from this side as well. We'll just let that, like I said, cool, dry, harden up, whatever you want to call it. And there it is, everybody. So we will move this into view one more time. And there we go. So if you are interested in purchasing a mailbox swag let me know and um, that's really about it again read the diction are in please press the little picture of myself to subscribe to my page and go to uh, wreaths by Veronica and her channel will be in my description uh, along with uh, Susie's Mesh Roller, in case you're interested in that. So, um, thanks everybody. Have a great day, and I will be talking to you later. Bye.